crash ever witnessed at Ballast. Bill tells how it happened. As I come over the blind approach to McPhillamy Park Corner and speed in excess of 100 miles an hour, a tyre burst on the car, causing it to veer straight ahead into the bank. And I was a bit worried, you know, for the crowd's sake, that the car would sort of jump the fence and end up in amongst the people. Oh, it was just crashing and glass breaking and banging and carrying on. When the car finally came to rest, I was still conscious, and they just ran over and they started to tip the car up. I yelled out to them to stop, smelt petrol, and I asked you know, if anyone's smoking, would they kindly leave? By this time, the crash truck had arrived, and I knew everything was all right. Uh, myself, I, I felt one of my legs was caught. I didn't know what was going on there, because at the time, I was, the back of the seat had broken, and I was laying down flat in the car, luckily for me. And I suppose I've been there for five or six minutes, and they finally got me out. I had a look at the car and then I went to Bath's hospital. Fortunately, Brown's injuries were only of a minor nature. 